في كل يوم ألف Can you say that? You cannot. You cannot. You cannot say that you come out to the streets and you see this beggar, this hungry person, this really person in need, and you give something and they are so thankful. In that way, this country is very poor like that. Poor. Because so many times when we are stuck with something, we have a lot of problems, we have a lot of heaviness, you try this, you try that. You even make zikr, you pray, nothing seems to remove it until you see someone in need or you see something, an animal in need. Yes? You feed it, you help the person, you help the orphan, and they're so happy. And you feel so happy but so bad and so sad and so grateful. It takes you out from that immediately. You can be so depressed, so angry, so anxious, so suicidal. Punishment coming to this nation for nothing. The young generation want to kill themselves, nothing. But when you see someone, you help the unfortunate, the orphans, the poor, and they just say, Allah Razul, thank you so much, Allah bless you, thank you so much. You know, there's still Muslim people like that, yes? And you feel like, you don't feel proud, you feel like crap, because you're like, what did I do? I didn't do anything. This person is a good person, and I'm just giving so little and so thankful. Astaghfirullah, Ya Rabbi, forgive me. Shukur. You sit, you say Astaghfirullah, you cry. You come back to your senses. You don't get so moody. So all about me, my problems, my, my depression, my anxiety. They're not important. There are other people more important than you. We have real problems. My awkwardness, my I don't know, not, no, no. This one is in front of you. Look, good people, old people. That is a rahmat for us. We don't have it here. <clears throat> but we experience that a little bit here and there, yes? How are children growing up here going to experience that? Tell me how. Will they grow up entitled, spoiled? Don't sit in front of me and yawn. Whole night you're yawning, huh? You think I'm not watching? Some of you, please, it's a holy night. I'm not going, coming here, studying something. I'm reading hearts. I'm reading what is up there to give. But you are sitting there, shaitan is blowing you. You don't give a... You just... We have to be very careful. That this is sohbet. This is not a lecture. You or me, we don't have that right to cut off the connection. This is an important thing. The one who's sitting there yawning, you don't care. You eat other people's rights too. But this is something serious. Now we need to look because our children, eh, Alhamdulillah, they're here. So many of you say, MashaAllah, they're here, they're clean, they're not out there, this, that. But how are you going to give them that, that spirit, that heart? They just grow up selfish. They just expect comfort. I'm speaking from my own experience. Yeah? They just expect Good things. They don't have any tolerance for. And you think you telling them what it is? How many hours you spend with them? How many hours a day? They spend eight hours in school, ten hours with their friends, whatever. <laughs> How many hours? You don't even spend one hour sitting in front of them, talking to them. You don't. You don't. Especially the fathers. And even if you do, do you know what to do? It's not hanging out, it's to teach them, erase them, to hold them properly, to know the dangers ahead, dangers you did, how to navigate to be their friend. I'm worrying about this. It's not enough, this. Yeah, so what? Because here we're talking about legacy, correct? We talk about legacy whole night. The legacy. 
That is sunnat. Sunnat means, now those, Prophet says, those who are here, teach it to those who are not here. This generation will teach the next generation. The generation next will teach the next generation. It continues. Don't we understand there are thousands of civilizations much higher than ours. Allah has just wiped them out from the face of this earth. There's no legacy. It's not continuing. There's no blessing. Are we interested in this? We should be. Or we don't care. We let them into the system. We're happy that they become so Americanized. And then later they grow up to be something like this and like that. They get girlfriends, boyfriends and this. And then you come to me, please pray for me. I say, what can I do so much? But we don't know what to do. We, we, we sent him here. We said, it's not just sending. You understand? It is knowing. It is knowing their heart. It is being with them. Because as parents, we are going to be questioned. We're going to be questioned. So for kids here, how? It's good they have this, they have that, but how they can have the heart? Prophet wasalam, he was sent to the orphans. He was an orphan. That has become a word to us now, orphan, because we have no contact with orphans. Yes? We don't. He was sent to the poor. That's a concept to us. It's a concept. Poor. What is poor? What is poor to us living here? To the widows, to this, to that, to the unfortunate, to the slaves. It's a concept to us. Yeah, you can swallow the whole Quran. You can swallow all the six books of Hadith. But your heart, oh, your heart, the throne of Allah is not soft, it's not working. What is all that? You become a donkey, a beast of burden, carrying all that knowledge for nothing. And this is not about uh, social work also. It's not. It's more than that. No? So many people doing social work just for tax write-off and to show off and to do this. Uh, Something to think about. Now, if I say to our kids, now find some poor Muslim families and understand, you know, like they do here, they say sponsor, you know, help this, that. How? Oh. So they will lack that heart. That's a problem. And this is one of the reasons why we are going here and there. We're traveling here and there. We're saying now it's not here, the knowledge. We have to go over there to take it. I mean it. We are here, a nice place, eating, and then over there, people are suffering. We are here celebrating Maulid, mashallah, ya Rasulullah, and then we are. And then over there, people are suffering, and we're not really helping. It doesn't mean too much, no. In fact, we can be punished, right? Mm -hmm. Of course, we are helping, yeah, yeah, we are helping. I'm not talking about signing a check and sending money, it's not about that. We, I know we are doing it. But here I'm talking about not about signing a check, not about putting things in a box. I'm talking about this heart, huh? this heart, feeling it. And starting from young, young people feeling it. <coughs> feeling the, the, the taste of being generous according to the prophetic sunnah. Feeling the taste of helping others. We should think about this, we should work on this. Huh? You should travel. I don't want people just to go to Pakistan or Turkey or anywhere just to go there to spend time with your relatives here and there. We're trying to set something up so that this can be part of the journey, not education, uh, the journey, the spiritual journey of our children and for ourselves too.
the one you're helping, that one may be a friend of Allah. The one you're helping, that one may be Allah's tajali is on that one. The animals that you help, how many more stories we need because of an animal that everyone doesn't look at, but because somebody is showing some kindness, Allah's special favor and forgiveness on that small act. Small act that is coming from the heart, not big acts that is coming from their head and from ego. Big acts. Like what? Like so much ilm. Big acts. Yeah, we have people. Yes, we, they are helping here and there. But I want that. Where is that personal connection? That is important. We should think about this. Eh? That personal connection there. We should try, at least. So, inshallah. That's the sohbat for Maulid this year. That's what's coming to my heart. Other than that, history of the Prophet, you can go online. <laughs> Tell us stuff. This is something. Think a little bit more. Be with people who are kind. Get them involved in something. My intention is that if we have something somewhere, anywhere, that we can send our children there once a year at least to go and help whether it's an orphanage or this or that, to go and to actually help, to live with them. Step by step, to understand how it is. So that it's normal. And they will not think that they are helping to. I don't want them to think they are helping. I want them to know that it's a privilege to be with them. Because these poor, they will enter into the paradise Thousands of years before the rich are entering. That's why we're saying, be fakir. Don't own anything. Say, this doesn't belong to me. It's not about what you have. Shabakare eh? Gelani, he had palaces. He was. Uh, entertaining his guests, every guest had one sheep eaten. He's wearing the jubba that is so expensive uh, that even the Christians, they were looking at him and saying, huh, he's saying that he's a man of Allah, look at him. It's not about what is outside, it's what is inside. What is so good if outside you're looking like a fakir, but inside you're craving for the dunya? What is that? You're saying Allah gives? Allah takes, it doesn't matter. And you know what is the purpose that you have. You're not attached to it. You're not attached to it. So, we can't do that as a Jamaat. We can't do that. We don't need any more scholars. <coughs> we need practitioners. You don't need any more people studying. We need doing and acting. That's more difficult to act, to do. So. And yes, it starts with understanding your ego. <coughs> yeah. May Allah forgive me, inshallah. Fatiha. Assalamu alaikum. Any questions anyone has? Anything anyone wants to ask? You can upload this later. A fan? Oh, okay. That's good. Any questions? Anyone else? If not, we'll call it a night. There are some prayers, of course, tonight that you may pray. Prayers tomorrow. You can find out pretty easily. You can do some tahajjud prayer. The time that the Prophet was born was around the Hajjud time, no? Mm. So it's good to be, if you can, to be awake that time. 
to pray, to ask. Don't just sit there asking for more money, more riches, more this, more that for yourself, more higher stations, more paradise. Try not to. So pray that Allah forgive you. Pray for forgiveness. Pray that you don't repeat the wrongs that you've always been repeating. Pray that your ibadat be accepted. Pray for others. And then sit and just praise the Prophet. Don't have to ask anything, you know. It's better. Praise him. Just be with him too. Say, This is the time you were born, they told me. So nice this time. MashaAllah. It's okay. Sit and think. It's okay. And understand, so many people, they cannot sit and think like this. They were punished for sitting and thinking like this. They were tortured and killed for sitting and thinking like this, for loving the Prophet, alayhi wa So think about them too. And those shaheeds, those beloveds of Allah, they are not dead, as Allah is saying. They're fresh and they're alive. Alhamdulillah, as much as enough, inshallah. Wa min Allahu tawfiq al-fatiha.